this is Stalia. I just want to share some project um, shares that I did uh, work and that I finished working and I had to send out. There are Thanksgiving, there's one Thanksgiving pocket letter and a car, a tag, and um, some projects that I've been working on. So I want to share before I mailed it. Working on Christmas ones now. So um, the first one is a Thanksgiving packet letter. I created um this box. I follow a tutorial um on YouTube, and it's still it's still bulky. It got too bulky, so because I added some big things, so it's still. But it's gonna be in the envelope in the box, so it's it's okay. So I created this box um using the the collection happy four this is the collection that i use to create the project and and the box is the only um, four ones that i have so this is a ribbon from my stash so we're just gonna open it and i decorated the front of the box with um with the thing and it's a packet letter and I will take it out oops I did this flowers but I didn't they didn't fit in the back of it because they're too bulky so I just put them on top and this is the box finish I mean it's supposed to fit perfect but because of this that's why it doesn't fit if flush in it is it's a little bulky and I had to tie it down because this is very three-dimensional but I wanted to put that there so this is a uh, um, packet letter that I created using that collection I created this um, tassels using this um, Aliexpress tassel die so I use that and um, this was a pig from um, Dollar Tree and it's like this scarecrow pigs I love scarecrow so I wanted to put that there so I used that and then um, a lot of the the diecast are printing cut from my um, silhouette Believe it or not, I had nothing, I had no dyes and nothing that is Thanksgiving. So I had to do a lot of print and cut. But that works. So um, the cards, these cards are from the um, from the paper pad. I put some paper here like washi. And um, all those die cuts um, are these ones are from the paper pad and then this ones is from um printing cut from my um silhouette so that's the front i love it it's beautiful and then the back i created a lot of um embellishments so in here i created this ones with um printing cut using some crepe paper and printing cut um, things she could use those for her um, whatever craft she does I will put them later um, here I created some bows here again more of those um, rosettes that I created here I gave a whole bunch of die cuts that I print the from the print cut that she could use in her planner or in her scrapbooking or whatever it is that she does. So I put those there. This one I, I cut apart from the collection also. They have all these tags. So I cut a few for her. Um, this one over here is our embellishments that I created. 
I love this. This is eat more veggies. It's like, don't eat me. And then over here at the bottom is more embellishment that I created. Using my punches and... And over here is some... I try to do these things not to get so bulky, but I can't, I can't, I can't create nothing that is not over embellished. Then I created this little, um, club pins with the, with the printing cuts. So she got three there. And then the last one is more, um, more, um, embellishments that I created for her. So this is my Thanksgiving packet letter as I have to put it in the mail tomorrow, Friday. So, um, I wanted to share before I, I mail it because sometimes I do projects and I forgot to share them and I don't throw pictures of them either so I never have if I don't put it in YouTube I had no record of what I make so I wanted to share before I mail this so that is the pocket letter I also created uh, for another swap I created a car so this is the car that I created I used this um, art impression is it our impression stamp set? And then these little peekaboos are from um, Swift Stamp Shop, the Christmas um, planner stamp. This right here is a die from AliExpress. Um, this rectangle I used the uh, um, wonky stitches from Gina Marie die. Um, this is a Martha Stewart punch. Uh, the Be Mary is from, I think, the stamp set, and so is this Peace and Joy. And then on the inside, I stamp it. Um, this is uh, my um, my Creative Time stamp set. And then I use the re the rectangle wonky, um, and then I sign it in the back. So this is a car that I created. I'm not good at car making. I got to up my game on that. I don't make them much, so that's why I'm not, excuse me, um, I don't make cars, so it's like I'm a little rusty, but I, I wanted to do a shaker with that, and, um, just gotta get to it. So that's another project that I did. Another project that I did is that I'm working in a Christmas swap, so this is a tag that I created, I gotta glue this here. And um, it's just a big tag from these tags in, in sexual, the giant tags that I got on Tuesday morning long time ago. So I have them in black and regular color. So, and then I cover it using the um, Hobby Lobby paper from last year. And um, this Christmas is uh, this Christmas tree is a felt from Target last year. I use uh, we needed to use one of the, one of the Jolly Nutting um, dolls, so I use her. I paper pierce her. It's been so long since I played with these dolls that it, I was like, ah, can do this. So, but I managed to do it. I did hidden bows in white. This part right here of her thing, but. I, I couldn't find my snow make glue whatever so I found this so I'm gonna go over it so I could make it more fluffy the like the boots and the her dress this is a recollection um, sticker the lights are from recollection the candy canes are from I think recollection or the Dollar Tree this sleigh right here is uh, one of the tags from this year from um, Dollar Tree. 
and then all those gifts is from the stamp set from last year this one right here from this one right here i used the the gifts and um i did that and then i used ribbon from my stash and then this is a uh i think this was a jelly bean or a wooden thing that i got in um tuesday morning long time ago so i just put um stickles in it red stickle the ruby ruby slipper i think it is stickles and it's gonna be glue here i just haven't glued it yet and this is this is supposed this has to go inside our loaded envelope but i'm working on that loaded envelope now well not yet i'm doing the stuff from inside and then i i i create the envelope because I had no place to put it and it will get messed up. So I had to work on that last. So that's another project that I did. And the last project that I wanted to share is was this TN that I did. This is a B6 TN. And I follow um, Bona's tutorial. Bona's tutorial, you know, anybody know, everybody knows who Bona is. So um, I follow her tutorial and um i did this just for the month of december so it's my like my christmas calendar it's not perfect it's the first one i made but i'm happy with it and i could i mean i don't mind that it's not perfect um it has four notebook but one of them <laughs> it came out to be a packet size instead of a bc's but i don't care i don't mind so i want to share with you guys what i did um, this paper is from Hobby Lobby. We all know this paper. It's from Hobby Lobby, and um, I just laminated it. And the cord that I'm using is a very flimsy one. It's from the Dollar Tree. I gotta go get the the ones now from Hobby Lobby, the thick ones for Christmas. I gotta go get them. But for now, this will work. And I only have color. I didn't have no red or no white or no whatever. So I used the blue. And then um, the inside of it, this is all American craft paper that I got one of those pack of 25 long time ago. And, and I think when I used to live in Florida. And I had some, so I put it there. Um, I put two of those um, Target packet, um, the packets in there and then I put some ephemera um the collection that I use for the for the booklets was the the crepe papers no one cocoa because like this is my Christmas my December calendar so I wanted to match the December daily because I will have notes and stuff here for it so I put some of the die cuts here I just cut a few of the die cuts and just put it here for decoration nothing no rhyme or reason um then i did one of the um page makers and i put another envelope here and here I have all the stickers that i want to use for this planner and the month of december um these are my like my christmas bobbies this is from the monaco marbles um design um group so this are half uh, this was last year's Christmas stickers, but I love them so much that I want to use them again this year. So I print them. I reduce the size so I could I could fit this planner, and I use I print those. And then this is also from that group. I I resize them so it could fit um, perfect. And then this is a whole bunch of ones that I have stamped, and I want to I want to have them ready. Oh, I got stuck. So I want to have them ready to use. And these are from these are from the Sassy Club. This was from the um, Swift Stamp Shop last year. Christmas stamp sets, and then some adulting. So I got all the stickers, and they fit perfect. And I cut them to fit perfect in that. And I use the same paper to create the packet i am looking i am going to get the the die set to create the tns but it has to be after christmas so but friday was easy to follow so this is my christmas planner i bought this in um in etsy 
and <laughs> it printed to it, it it turned out to be a small size not a it's a it's a a6 not a bc something like that but i don't care I, that it's smaller than the other um than the other notebook so i just printed it i i used the collection again i had the digital collection so i could print as much as i want and then um i got december here and then they had a countdown to christmas and then i have my online tracker auto tracker my christmas bucket list my Christmas shopping list, the stocking stuff for ideas, and then Christmas gift planner. Have a few though, I don't have too much people to give. Then I have some decoration ideas, or I could use it for something, to anything else. And then holiday party planner. Again, I could use this for something else. More Christmas gift planner. Um, holiday party planner. Holly the menu planner guest list which I'm not having no party but it was there but I could use this for something else to so write down anything else and holiday card tracker which I don't send cards so and then my budget tracker and expense tracker and more expense tracker so that is the Christmas um, planner and the, and then I saw them I hand sew this because my i couldn't find my we are memory keeper staplers the one that you staple anywhere in the page i found the stapler but i couldn't find the the actual stapler so i had to hand sew them so that is the small one and and it doesn't matter to me that it's smaller than the other one it still look cute and then i created a weekly one using the paper and this weekly I think I have I think either I purchased from Etsy or I got it free somewhere I can't remember I I was looking for it and my downloads and my purchases I couldn't find it so I don't know where I got this from but I had the, I have I had a three size for where I got it, I got a three size the B6 the pocket size and the um, another size but the pocket side doesn't have the habits the other two sizes doesn't have this part right here and i wanted to use this part and i wanted to have this part and this part because the other ones are smaller so it's only the weekly so i like this layout so this is what i'm gonna be using and i only i only created five weeks so you know and i have one of those joanne's bows there i only printed five weeks because i only using this for for Christmas and January I'll be using my my mini recollection so this is the weekly and then I also created a daily because I like to have a daily I have the weekly because I could have a weekly a week art a week at glance of you know what's going on but then daily I could go more into detail you know of what I need to do and stuff like that this one is a free printable that i got on um, on the internet and um it has the schedule right here and then it has notes and then it has to do so it's perfect so i print a whole month worth of this and created my daily so that is that one and it goes here i mean these things are so easy to create and we don't even need the die but to do it and then the last one that i did was a note section again the same paper and some ephemera from the collection and um it's just a liner paper so i could you know take notes of what I need to do for my December daily that day or sketches or whatever that I want to write in here so um that is that so it has four three big ones and a small one I kind of like this little one so that is my December planner 
I like the way it came out. I mean, it was easy to create. It's like one, two, three, and then um, if you could, uh, you could use regular paper or just five by seven notebooks already created. But I like it that I could, you know, make it my own and make it work for me. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. All these projects that I've been working on. And um, I'm still working on um, on some Christmas swaps that I had to do, and um, I have not put my this. I don't do foundation pages uh, for my December daily, so I have all the stuff that I'm gonna use already set up. Um, but I work as I go because I do hybrid. I'll do my my layout on the app. And then I will decorate as I go. So hopefully I'm planning to uh, recall every day. Um, the process of creating the, 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 the digital paper and then printing it and thing. Hopefully I get, I stick to it because I'm lazy and I get bored. So that's why I never finished them. But if I don't finish it this year, I'll give up on December daily because I have two, the two previous years that I'm still working on it. And I mean, I like the concept, but it's like, I don't know. I don't have too much going on in life. And you know, and as I'm getting older and my kids, I mean, my daughter is always be 18 and out of the house next year in a couple of months <laughs> and in five months. So, you know, it's like, oh, then i had nothing to document so so we'll see we'll see what how i work um this year if i keep up with it so um that's what i wanted to share with you guys uh the projects that i've been working on i got more projects coming up so um stay tuned for that and thank you for watching and until next time